means go. When there's a mandatory evacuation, listen to the experts. Uh, save uh, not only your own life, but don't put our first responders in harm way uh, that have to keep coming back and making sure of your safety. Now, further north, the Kincaid fire devastating Sonoma wine country tonight. It has destroyed one of the state's oldest wineries in Healdsburg. At least 123 structures have been destroyed. Almost half of those are homes. And help from Oregon tonight. More than a dozen fire crews from right here in California tonight as those strong winds are expected to continue fueling the wildfire. You know, there are about 300 firefighters from 15 different Oregon counties who are there helping. Let's switch to our Valina Jones, who's live tonight with just how those local crews are there to help. Valina? Jennifer and Jeff, the last of those 15 crews that you mentioned arrived last night, nine of which are helping to fight the Cascade Fire in Sonoma County. Now, firefighters woke up very early this morning to start fighting those flames as they expect the conditions to get worse tomorrow with another red flag warning in effect. As fire spreads through the hillside of Northern California, Hundreds of Oregon firefighters on the front lines are battling those flames in Mendocino and Sonoma County. The big concern now, again, is getting ready for another wind shift overnight. Oregon fire crews, including Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue Assistant Chief Les Hallman, are getting a brief break near Santa Rosa today as they focus on homes being threatened. The fire is now over 66,000 acres and is only 5% contained. The wind dropped today, so we're trying to take advantage of this drop in the wind to reinforce some of our lines. The two wildfires are already forcing at least 2,000 people from their homes. Anytime you're getting over 30 mile an hour or 40 mile an hour winds, it's, it's extremely dangerous. The fire starts moving very, very fast. Uh, this fire has been spotting a mile out. That means that embers that blow a mile away are starting additional fires. According to officials, strong winds are fueling the fires across the state. Holman says the dry weather is fanning those flames. You can't help but feel the emotional part because they've lost so many homes here. We come down here and help California knowing that if we had a catastrophic event in Oregon, they're going to come back and help us. So it's neighbors helping neighbors. Now, firefighters plan to be deployed in California for 14 days. The last time they were in California was last November for the campfire that was California's deadliest fire, killing 85 people. Jeff and Jennifer, back to you. And to think those embers, again, flying sometimes a mile away, can start these new fires. Just devastating down there. Thanks, Felina.